Hey, Harold. Allie? It's been like three years, right? How are you? What do you want? I thought you blocked me. What's with the attitude? It's me, Allie. Uh, so? You're my ex. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. We lived together for two years. We were meant to be together, Harold. Uh, no. <laughs> You're so stubborn. I know everything, you know. What are you talking about? You now live in the city, right? Yeah. So what? You remembered what we talked about. Huh? Stop playing dumb. I know you remember. When I said I wanted to be a housewife, you said you didn't make enough money. Oh, uh, I guess I remember. But what's that got to do with anything? Oh, you. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, no, I really don't. Oh, you're so modest. The past three years, you worked really hard for me, didn't you? I know everything. What are you saying? Stop playing dumb. You moved to the city for your new job, right? Uh, yeah. My last company went out of business. I got a new job, but it was in the city and... My house was way too far, so I decided to move. I see. You must have worked really hard. What's this got to do with you? It was all for me, right? What on earth are you talking about? You make more money now, right? Why does that matter? It matters. Of course it matters. Why? Because we're going to get married. What? I already started looking for wedding venues. I got some pamphlets, too. I'll show them to you later. Hold on. What's going on here? What do you mean? I never asked you to marry me. So? We don't need that. I know you worked really hard for me. That's more than enough for me. So no worries. Just focus on your work. Leave the wedding preparations to me. Hold up. I never proposed to you. No worries. I know you love me. That's not what I mean. I don't want to marry you. What? But we never broke up. What? Yes, we did. You said to me, you're too poor for me. Goodbye forever. Those were your exact words. You're the one that left me, remember? Then you blocked me. Look, I'm sorry, okay? But I know you did all this for me. Look, it doesn't matter if we broke up or not. We're together again. That's all that matters. Uh, no. I actually got a fiancé. What? I'm getting married. What? What? What the hell? You're cheating on me? What? How could you? We were only separated for three years. Why are you messing around with other girls? I thought you were doing all this for me. Oh, you're unbelievable. We broke up. You dumped me. And what are you talking about? You're not making any sense. You're a CEO now, right? CEO? Me? Yeah. When your last company went out of business, you started your own company, right? And you did it for me. You knew I needed someone with a lot of money, so... Uh, I'm not the CEO. Stop lying. I know you're lying. I'm serious. I just started working here like two years ago. I made more money now, sure, but it's nothing special. What? That can't be. My friend told me. You're a CEO. Stop lying to me. Everyone's been talking about you. Who did you hear this from? Uh, Jay, I think? He applied for your company or something and saw you at the interview. You were sitting in the CEO seat. Oh, that. See? I knew it. I know what's going on here. He got the wrong person. What? My cousin. He's the CEO. He's nine years older than me, but we look alike, so sometimes people get us mixed up. That's probably why he thought I was the CEO. Everyone has name tags, but I guess he was too nervous to notice that. Wait, what the hell? But a friend of his told him that it wasn't me. Did you even look at the company website? I think you're the only one that still believes this. Wait, what? Look, I'm not the CEO, okay? But wait, your cousin is the CEO, right? And you must get some kind of special treatment? Nope. He doesn't do that. What? I'm just a normal employee there. You got that? I'm just an ordinary businessman. Too bad. No, no, that can't be. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. I'm already in the city. Huh? Why? You know why? Uh, no, I don't. How can you say that to me? I came here for you. Huh? 
I thought you were the CEO now, so I was going to marry you and everything. How can you do this to me? Wait, you're moving into the city? Where are you going to live? With you. Oh, wow. This is marriage fraud. What? If I knew it was a lie, none of this would have happened. You tricked me. I'm going to sue you for damages. Uh, how is this my fault? You look like the CEO. I can't help that. He's my cousin. And why didn't you check the facts first? Who does that? Why didn't you just text me and ask me? It makes no sense. Uh, I wanted to surprise you. What? I thought you'd be really happy to see me. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, right. How can you say that to me? You could have asked me if I was really the CEO or not. Or you could have just asked your friends. Or better yet, check the company website. You didn't do any of that. And now you're saying I tricked you? Marriage fraud? You're crazy, you know that? This is ridiculous. Then hook me up with your cousin, the real CEO. What? Yeah, that'll work just fine. Just introduce me to him. Just help me out, and this will all go away. <sighs> You're insane. Huh? I told you he's older than you. Why do you assume that he's still single? What, is he? You're crazy. You didn't even ask me if he was married or not. You're so selfish. The world doesn't revolve around you, okay? What? I just want to get married. There's just no talking to you. By the way, he's married. He has kids. What? Can I go now? No, I'm not done here. We're done here. I got things to do, okay? I gotta go. Wait. Oh, one last thing. I know you were cheating on me. You married him, right? But you guys got a divorce a few months later. You're up to your neck in debt, right? I know everything. Wait, how did you... Bye. Wait, please! I got nowhere to go! I can't go back to my old place, and can I at least stay with you for a while until I get a job? Please? Hello? Harold? Harold! I was scared that she might track me down, but she didn't know where I lived, and my house was pretty hard to find, so she gave up after a while and went back to her hometown. Her parents cut all ties with her, though. Not sure what she does for a living now, but a friend told me that she now works as a hooker. Oh well, not my problem. Time to move on with my life. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.